And joining us live on the broadcast this minute is Rivka Abulafia Lapid, Senior Lecturer at Hebrew University Medical Center from Jerusalem, Israel. Thanks very much, Rivka, for speaking with us. Rich nations have bought over half of the world's future supply of a potential COVID-19 vaccine, according to a report by Oxfam International. A handful of these wealthy nations, representing only 13% of the global population, have bought 51% of the doses of these possible vaccines that are still under trial. What about the less developed countries? What efforts, according to you, should be made so that they do not lag behind in this race to grab vaccine doses and that there is equality in distribution? Uh, well, that's a good question because uh, a large scale of uh, the uh, vaccines you mentioned, the Moderna one and the Pfizer, they will be ready by the end of uh, 2021. And uh, indeed, you have to synthesize this RNA, the, the part of the vaccine, the major part of the vaccine. But uh, uh, luckily, we are hearing uh, uh, recently that Germany is developing uh, uh, another vaccine that is similar to Moderna and Pfizer. It is also composed of RNA. It is stable and, and better in a way of delivery. It, is, uh, it, does, it doesn't need the, the minus 70 degrees or not the minus 20 degrees of Moderna. And uh, uh, again, it's uh, very difficult to reach uh, uh, like uh, billions, nine billion, uh, the whole population of the world. And that's why there are so many other companies that are uh, underway of uh, starting phase two and uh, phase one and under development. But uh, I would like to mention uh, the, the CureVac, uh, the Germany and uh, uh, headquarters uh, Tübingen, uh, which is uh, very promising, as I said. There is also the Oxford uh, AstraZeneca. And uh, there is also a couple of uh, companies, two from China. There is the Russian uh, vaccine, which is, uh, in my mind, it's a very good vaccine because it was already uh, tested in Ebola. Uh, but it, it has to undergo the... Uh, clinical phases one, two, and three, and I think it's not yet on uh, phase two even. But this, uh, we need to get more like open uh, information and reports from the Russian. But Sputnik V was also purchased by Israeli, uh, by Adassa, um, um, uh, head of right. the Adassa. And so it's a good one. There is also the casino that is... Uh, constructed on adenoviruses, which is also a good one because it was tested before with adenoviruses. These are other right. vectors. Rivka, absolutely. Let me yeah. just... Yeah, sorry to interrupt you there. There are several logistical challenges uh, that lie ahead. Yeah. Now, as you're telling us, uh, several rays yeah. of hope in this fight against COVID-19. But how can countries, according to you, overcome the logistical challenges and the hurdles that lie ahead? Uh, well, when you are... You are trying something very new like RNA and uh, it's unstable in a way and you have to uh, deliver it uh, in a very uh, not not that easy technical conditions like uh, cold, very cold uh, you we uh, there are DNA viruses sorry there are, there are attenuated, attenuated viruses like vaccine which are much more stable and uh, under under development including your your country that is trying attenuated uh, virus or a inactivated virus, then you can grow in a way in large scale and deliver it. Uh, so there are dif different approaches. In each one of the approaches, there are advantages and disadvantages. But all over, because all over the world we are together and, and it's gathered in this way of uh, doing the best and delivering the best. and. Uh, I, I hope it's going to be also well controlled for side effects and for the efficacy and outcome. I think uh, we have to uh, really challenge most of the companies, all the companies that are underway of uh, developing the vaccine. So it will uh, be uh, delivered for like Africa and other countries and it will be even cheaper. So we have to make it also cost uh, valuable in a way that uh, the delivery and also the, the vaccine is going to be uh, 
um, much more diff uh, easy to to uh, produce and to uh, to send, to deliver, and to to be used in other countries. I'm very optimistic, and I think by the end of 21, uh, most of the like population. I don't know if most of, actually not most of the population, but very much major of the population will be able to get the vaccine. Uh, I know that some uh, uh, companies are uh, having uh, some uh, money from the, their uh, countries. They, uh, I know that uh, uh, Melinda, uh, I know that uh, some companies have uh, contributors. So I think right. the, off the effort are really great. So like Bill Gates and Melinda, I know that they have some input also in one of the vaccines, which is very important. So the more the more it will be uh, uh, understand, like uh, now countries understand that, governments understand that, um, they, are, they know that we have to support everyone. Even, you know, in Israel, we have the Nestiona vaccine, which is also very good and very promising. And I guess it will be also in, in, uh, in a short while. We are right now in phase one. Yes. We we'll have it also. So uh, I know that Chinese, I know uh, trying uh, two kinds in, in China. I know that yes. there are so, so many. That so we do have these positive developments um, vis-a-vis -vis yeah. the vaccine race. Uh, we will have to yeah. see how these countries end up uh, actually overcoming the challenges with the distribution now. We're going to leave it there for the moment. Rivka, thanks very much for joining us with those perspectives. Yeah. It's a